Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to import historical stock prices into Excel and then to chart them on any type of chart that you would like. Now if you'd like to get, to get the workbook that you're about to see you can go to teachexcel.com, search for the video tutorial and download it there. So if you have historical stock prices in another spreadsheet or um, you want to download in a CSV file it's very easy to copy and paste that into Excel. Um, but here I'm going to show you how to pull it right from Yahoo Finance and then quickly graph it. So the first thing, have a blank worksheet like this and then go to the data tab. On the data tab, go to the get external data box right here on the left and then click from web. A window like this is going to open up which is essentially a uh, web browser for Microsoft Excel. It's kind of cool but uh, not very good for surfing the web. Anyway, let's go to finance.yahoo.com. Once you're there, go to the box on the left, right here, and type in the ticker symbol for any stock. Let's say Google. Then hit enter. Sometimes when you do that, you get a little warning message that pops up. Don't worry about it. It's just because this is not a very good web browser, basically. So anyway, what we've got here uh, all of the current stock data, but we want to get the historical prices. So right over here to the left, historical prices. Left menu, right there, historical prices. Now on this page, you've got all the historical prices listed right here. By default, it's going to be daily, and uh, up here you can select what frequency you like. You want it daily, weekly, monthly, only the dividends, as well as the dates you would like to pull it in for. So let's go ahead and change this to January 1st um, or strike that. Let's actually just get it for one month. So let's go October 1, 2009 to October 30th, 2009. And it is October 30th, not 31st, because 30th was the last trading day in October. Anyway, I'm going to stick with daily. If you wanted to, you could change it to weekly. And if you had a wider date range, monthly, etc. So now click Get Prices. It's going to update the box below. So now right here, we've got all of the dates for the trading days in October. Now you see a bunch of these little yellow arrows. What you want to do, select the one next to the data you want. When I hover my mouse over, you see a blue box appears around all of the prices. That's the data it's going to import. I'm going to click it see a green check mark that's what's going to be imported now let's go down to import click import you will see a window like this open up now uh, first select cell where you want the data to be imported into I'm selecting cell a1 make sure you have enough room to the right and below so you're not going to overlap anything the next thing is that um, when you import data traditionally it's going to create a connection so that it can update all the time but since we're getting historical data we don't need it to update so click the properties button right here and at the top of this window you'll see save query definition it's by default checked you're going to want to uncheck that and notice how all this grays out after you uncheck that basically what that means is it's going to Im it's going to get the data from Yahoo Finance and import it as text there will be no query saved it will never update and we want it like that because we're getting historical stock prices they're not going to change part of history so click OK click OK and it should come in there we go so we get a bunch of data now I'm gonna zoom out a bit because we don't really need to be reading this you know what it is got the date open high low close volume adjusted close now in the bottom of column A you're gonna get a little note that says close price adjusted for dividends and splits we don't need that got it good now I'm gonna resize column A Okay, great. So, now we've got all of this data right here. And what I'm going to show you how to do is very quickly uh, make a chart of the closing price. Uh, I'm just going to use regular closing price here over the date. Easiest way to do that. Select the first date, hit Control, Shift on your keyboard. While holding Control and Shift, hit the Down key going to select everything in that column. Next thing, hit the control key, 
click the first closing price, then while hit, holding the control key, hit shift and then down on the keyboard. So you will automatically have two ranges selected. Now we want to go ahead and chart this. So go to the insert tab, the charts box. I'm going to choose a line chart, but you can choose any one of these charts that you want or select other charts right here. So I'm going to go ahead and select a line chart and get a traditional line chart, the first one right here. And it's automatically going to plot that for us. So now we have a, um, a really cool line chart <clears throat> that has plotted the data for us for uh, all of October, October, the closing prices. So we can visually see exactly what Google stock did for every day in October. And um, that is the uh, quick and dirty way to very easily import historical stock prices and plot them on a chart. So now I'm just going to um, show you a couple other things you can do to make your chart look a little bit better. This isn't really a charting tutorial, but uh, I'm going to show you that now. But in terms of bringing the stock prices in and making a quick chart, that's about it. If you want to change the chart type, simply click the chart. Make sure you're on the Chart Tools Design tab. These three tabs, Design, Layout, Format, only appear when you have a chart selected. So go to the Design tab, Type Box, Change Chart Type. You can change the chart type there. So I could change it to this if I wanted to. Anyway though, let's go ahead and change the series name and the chart name. So what you're going to want to do to change it from series 1 is to right click in the chart area, then click select data. Don't worry about all of this stuff. If um, uh, Select the desired series, series 1. I know it's that one because it says series 1 over here. Then click edit and let's say Google stock price. October 2009. So change where it says series name. Then click OK. And OK. And there we go. Google stock price October 2009 in a neat little chart right there for us. So um, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you'd like to get the workbook that you see here, go to teachexcel.com and um, search for the video tutorial. You can download the workbook there. So otherwise, that's it for this tutorial.